tonight is um, May the 28th, 2013. I'm going to document something here that that some of you may find interesting. I uh, was shown a uh, schematic of a very interesting old jukebox amplifier today. And the way that they inverted the phase to drive the uh, push-pull amp, uh, the push-pull 6L6s, was by using a uh, center-tapped choke. Well, what I'm using right here is a uh, little small push-pull output transformer, but it has a center tap winding. You know, this is the center tap. This goes to one plate lead. This goes to the other plate lead. The secondary leads out here we're just not using. And what I'm doing is from this oscillator up here, and the kilohertz at plus 10 dB, small voltage signal, I am injecting right here with this red and black lead, a signal between the center tap, which is actually going to be like ground, and one side of the transformer. This is the other side of the transformer. So this would normally go to one plate lead, this would be the other plate lead, and this is the center tap. But I'm injecting the signal between the center tap and, and one side. And I'm going to be measuring, I've got uh, one probe set up right here, measuring that input signal. And this other signal, this other, uh, excuse me, this other probe right here is measuring the other side of the transformer. And what we get out is this right here. We got out two identical signals in amplitude and 180 degrees out of phase. See, this is input signal. There's a signal on the other side of the transformer. So this signal is between the center tap and the center tap and one side of the transformer. This is between the center tap and the other side of the transformer. So we get equal amplitude uh, opposite phase signals that we can use to drive a push-pull amplifier. If we put these on top of each other, see, you can see they're out of phase. Well, you can see that right here. One's going up, one's going down. If we add them right here, we get zero. So there it is. It was a really, I guess we would call it novel way of inverting the phase, but I really think it's uh, quite sophisticated. Anyway. I just wanted to prove that uh, that is indeed the case, and that's the way it works. I wonder what happens if we short the secondary. I want to touch these together. Let's see. Watch this. And it just drops it way. It just drops it way down in amplitude by loading it heavily. But the signals are uh, still the same out of phase. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with it. that. Was just just playing. So, for what it's worth.